Madam Rebecca Mbithi, the chairman uh, of the bank, uh, Dr. Francis Moraya, uh, the vice chair, architect Francis Mongai. I do know that you are involved in uh, the village market. Uh, that is a great job. I think he deserves a, a clap, uh, this uh, architect. <laughs> Uh, the MOAC chair, uh, who normally uh, we share paying tax and uh, rent uh, together, uh, together with a great team uh, of MOAC ladies, uh, the uh, Mrs. Fr uh, Grace Ogola, uh, um, Amogola, uh, who also happened to be uh, from my family of communicators, uh, it's always good to see uh, signals being represented at that level uh, and doing a great job uh, leading this pillar of partnership. The Vice Chief uh, of Defense Forces, I think it's important for me to probably introduce uh, the, 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 the top leadership, uh, the top brass of the Kenya Defense Forces, because I'm sure uh, members from uh, the Family Bank might not know them. Uh, Lieutenant General Francis Ogola uh, is the Vice Chief, uh, is the Air Force Aviator. <laughs> Lieutenant General uh, Peter Njiro uh, is the Commander of the Land Forces. Uh, so he, <laughs> if you hear somebody who is fighting bandits, especially in North Rift, he's the one who does that. <laughs> and he does a very good job. And then uh, General John Omenda uh, is... Uh, our Air Force uh, Commander. <laughs> and uh, uh, Major General Jimson Mutai uh, is always under sea, is the Navy Commander. <laughs> and uh, I also have one general that I need to introduce to you because he is linked to uh, this particular event, uh, Major General uh, Afasad Kyugo. Uh, <coughs> he is uh, our uh, head of the directorate that deals with uh, personnel and, log and logistics. So anything about personnel, whether we are dealing with uh, the soldiers, uh, whether we are dealing with the family, uh, he is in charge of this particular area, uh, which is very, very critical. The executive director uh, of Family Bank Foundation, Mr. John Way Mary, uh, the participants of this first cohort. Uh, good morning. Mukosawa, are you ready? It is indeed a pleasure uh, to have been chosen uh, to uh, host this particular event, the very first one in the Kenya Defense Forces. And it speaks to a lot of things that are very important and linked to uh, the mission of the Kenya Defense Forces. Uh, because us here, as leaders of the Kenya Defense Forces, uh, have got only two tasks to do. One is to accomplish the mission, as, as given by the Commander-in-Chief. Uh, and that we do uh, all the time. The second one is to attend uh, to the welfare uh, of not only the soldiers, but also the family. And U.S. is a family-centric bank. And we are also very family-centric in terms of the welfare. So there is convergence here, which I think uh, bringing together family bank and uh, the family-centric approach that we have in terms of welfare is a great thing. The second is to get the MOAC leadership uh, and the team that have just uh, completed two years. Uh, this last Saturday, uh, and to see them filling the gap that is very, very important uh, of focusing on the family. Uh, it is very easy for me to focus on the soldier because he fights, uh, and therefore I need to make sure that his welfare is great. And it's very easy to forget the family. And therefore, we are very grateful that uh, these ladies, uh, two years ago, uh, came together and decided to establish themselves within the MOAC uh, environment uh, to look at the family 
Uh, and this, within the last two years, uh, I've been the Chief of Defense Forces, have immensely benefited uh, from their counsel, from their advice, from, from their ability to see around the corners uh, and to listen to the soldier also, to listen to the family. There are things that uh, the soldiers cannot tell us, uh, obviously, because military is a very hierarchical thing. Uh, and when they go talking to them in their various bases, they are able to open up. Uh, and I'm glad to note that uh, they've had uh, a visit to every base uh, in the Kenya Defense Forces within the, those two years. Uh, and therefore, uh, anything that comes from them, we take it very seriously. Uh, so we are very grateful uh, for this partnership that has brought together uh, these two institutions, MOAC and Fami Bank, and also uh, the Kenya Defense Forces. It has been said very well uh, that uh, the demand uh, for skills, especially skilled labor in this country, is, uh, is very high. Uh, and looking at these young men uh, and uh, uh, girls who are here, uh, who have recently completed their schools, uh, and they have gotten this opportunity uh, to upscale uh, or to gain new, new knowledge, new skills, is very, very important. And the skills that you're getting is hands-on, is hands-on uh, training. You'll be able to do things yourselves. And therefore, I would like to thank uh, the CEO uh, and the board uh, for agreeing to partner with us. Uh, and we will, uh, for, for, for from our part, do everything possible. Uh, to ensure that uh, we ensure this particular initiative uh, succeeds. You have raised a very important question. Um, training is one thing. Uh, but training for the sake of it uh, will not help. You have linked training, first of all, with equipping. You have agreed to train them and also to equip them with toolkits. And, 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 and that is a very fundamental thing because this will allow you uh, to just get into the job market. And I think the area that you've pointed is how do we place them? Uh, and I believe very strongly that uh, it is important uh, for us in the KDF, uh, working with the, uh, the, the teams that deal with construction, uh, to do placement uh, on this particular area. But also, <laughs> the opportunity that you give them uh, is one that uh, is going to turn out to be very important uh, in the Kenya Defense Forces. You might be aware, or you must have heard, that uh, we have established uh, an Ulinzi construction company uh, under the Kenya uh, Ordnance Defense Industries in the Loret. And principally, this is uh, a, a company that is intended to absorb skilled labor, you know, people like this that are being trained. And we see an opportunity there uh, when we uh, start recruitment of young uh, people, whether they are civilians employed uh, directly or whether they join the military as tradesmen and women. Uh, and uh, we have had a lot of these young people with skills employed here uh, join uh, and upskill their skills beyond uh, the three months training uh, to acquire uh, higher uh, qualifications. So I see a huge opportunity and therefore I urge you, uh, the cohort that is coming in, uh, to look at this as a very important pathway. Uh, towards developing a career into the future. We are currently uh, working uh, with the government to develop some 35,000 houses uh, for single soldiers and 10,000 for married quarters under uh, the private partnership uh, program, uh, public partnership program. Uh, we have started the first uh, phase at uh, Roisambu, and we are spreading this across 
the entire career in uh, Mariakani, uh, Inyali, Nyanyuki, Nakuru. And therefore, as we spread this initiative, uh, it is important that these are areas that placements can take place. But you cannot be placed if you have no skills. So is the opportunity you have of being skilled is so, so important. Uh, so that you cannot, uh, in future, uh, say that you are not given an, oppor an opportunity. You have mentioned very clearly about the scarcity of, uh, uh, of, of, of skilled artisans uh, in the country. And I have personally witnessed this uh, when working uh, to help develop uh, the Ringo Stadium uh, in Nyeri, uh, where to get welders, uh, to get plumbers, we had to come to Nairobi uh, because of scarcity. Uh, we did the same in Kenoru Stadium in Meru. Uh, so there is a huge market out there waiting for uh, these young people. And I think what we'll be looking at uh, moving into the future is how do we uh, broaden this partnership? How do we probably create an opportunity to train my, my more than what we are training? And we are open ourselves in the KDF uh, to see how we can also contribute uh, towards broadening uh, the partnership uh, to train more uh, within the basis and to spread it uh, faster uh, into, into, the base, into, into the basis. And the reason of us coming here uh, with the service commanders is, uh, is how important this is. Uh, because if these young men and women are left uh, here in the camps, all sorts of, th all sorts of things will happen. Uh, turn into drugs, uh, end up getting into the bad habits. Uh, and therefore, this is something that we want to avoid as much as possible. So we are very grateful, uh, CEO. Uh, for this uh, opportunity uh, to uh, partner with us. The other aspect is that uh, I know uh, that uh, uh, talking to uh, the executive director that there are other uh, opportunities